Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're back after some phone calls. Um, yeah. So basically, in a nutshell, CRM has really improved um, my workflow, getting on the phone. Um, in terms of money, I still need to review this. But because it's so new, um, yeah, it's going to take a while. I need to follow up. I need to analyze the figures more in a few months. But I'm already 100% sure that it's going to increase the bottom line of my business. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, indeed. Next question is Yeah, as you don't really measure anything, the last question would have been like what? how much time do you save by using a CRM system? How much time how much time do I save? I think um for me it's about being more productive. Mm. So now I'm more clear about what I need to do and who I need to call and I'm making the most of my day. So my work day. Um, and I'm getting a lot more phone calls done. So I'm still in that stage where it's increasing the productivity. Mm. And I like it that way. Like, I want to be on the phone more. I don't know if that helps you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Not really. <laughs> I, don't really I know you don't measure really things, so... I measure, I measure um, I mean, accounts uh, and tax stuff. Accounts and tax stuff. <laughs> so... The next question we're going to skip it because you don't measure things. So no, wait, what's the next, question? <laughs> the next question? Tell the next question would be that how much did it increase your profit? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, we need to come back to that one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is why I wanted to skip When you start working mm. on it, you can increase the profit. Mm. You can increase the profit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has it impacted customer satisfaction? Um, yeah, so at the moment, honestly, I use it for prospects, you could say, new clients. Mm. The next thing I need to do is add on using it to communicate more with existing clients. And I think that will be a great mm. addition. So making sure I get in touch with them more, send them information, give them updates uh, a bit more. Right now, I use Asana for that. Um, so I use, you know, Asana? Yeah. Oh, Asana is like scheduling tasks. It's not CRM, mm. really. So I need to switch that over, and that will be a great adding more value. So. <laughs> yeah, no money, no money, no money. Okay. You just get some more information about your business. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, I just... what do you need? Hmm? You need more information? No, I just, yeah, you answered a different question. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I? Okay. You have to um, keep me on track. You've got to like mm. hear the questions because I'll just it's, it's I'll start talking about something else. <laughs> finish, finish. That was enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's like when it's this way usually that happens if you are listening to an interview that happens regularly yeah, with <laughs> people that. <laughs> So you're asking questions that, and the other oh, guys it's a, yeah, it's talk a, as well as something else. <laughs> it's, it's a, a politician mm, trick. Mm. <laughs> okay. So you're preparing yourself to be a politician? Yeah. A leader. A leader. <laughs> a political leader or a leader? <laughs> I would like to be part of something big. Mm. A revolution or some kind. Revolution. For good. Are you joining me? <laughs> to the revolution. To a revolution? Well, not like a quiet, yeah. peaceful, yeah, quiet, a peaceful, peaceful. Re revolution. Oh, when you say revolution, it always comes to like <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> shooting. No, and no, no. I mean like Gandhi. A revo revolution, revolution. Like, <laughs> like Gandhi. No, anywho. Mm. Next question. Next <laughs> question. We get away from the <laughs> animal bit. So, the next one is um, not really about CRM, it's about your business. Like, how oh, it's related to CRM. But what are your company's customer-oriented goals? <sighs> These are hard questions. So, customer goals. Number one, um, better communication and more frequent communication with existing clients. Number two, um, sending out useful, straight-to-the-point tax tips to existing clients and um, our, our list of tax workers who may not be clients now, but in the future, possibly, yes. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
and um, we do have a, like numbers for an aim or goal for the next year like to, uh, I want to get this amount of clients this is a golden well, question it's a great question so our aim in tax work is um, to build a network a community of 500,000 tax workers that's the big goal that might take a few years <laughs> that's maybe mm. not a year a year goal <laughs> <laughs> that might take a few years we'll see but yeah started from the bottom mm. now we're here hashtag Drake oh in a year I, I don't know yeah, so in a year you, you double mean, what we have now how about that how many do you have now um wait I'll whisper it <gasps> so close to the 500,000 <laughs> 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 I like your positivity. Mm. <laughs> okay. So uh, okay. Um yeah, so, yeah, I think basic the following questions like what do you want to achieve? How many customers do you Wait, hang on. One at a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what do I want to achieve? What do you mean? In life? In CRM? In relationships? <laughs> <laughs> in your business? Oh, my business. Okay. That's like, this is why I actually started to saying the other questions as well, because it's like kind of your goals, like what do you want to achieve, what's your goals? Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same question as the other. Yeah, I have answers to that, mm. if you'd like to hear them. Mm? <laughs> so, the goal is world domination. <laughs> <laughs> we need tax work to be the go-to destination for everyone who wants an online tax return, mm. specifically um, people in IT and online mm. business, and then, yeah, spreading out from there. Go-to destination go to worldwide. Destination. Worldwide. Yeah. How about go-to destination for accounting? No, I, didn't, I didn't say accounting. No? I mean, online tax returns. Online tax returns, oh. And VIP accounting. Mm. It's cool. Yeah, the next one is uh, next question is like how many new customers do you want to get per month? I can't hear you. Say it louder. Hmm? Well, I can hear you, but they might yeah. not be able to. Oh, so the next question is like how many new customers do you want to get per month? So new customers um, this year, next year. Yeah, following twelve months, so following one year. Um, so, depending on what it is, if it's the online tax returns, quite a high number, um, maybe 30, 30 per month. If it's the VIP accounting, 5 per month. Mm. Yeah. Yes, um, next question. Actually, let's go back to that. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, 30 new clients per month. Mm -hmm. In the following twelve months, um, how many have you calculated? Like, how many people do you have to contact to get like thirty clients per month? That's a good question. Um, yeah, it didn't quite like it wasn't on my mind before, um, but then I watched Grant Cardone Millions on the Phone, and I did that yeah. exercise where you ten x it. So, the ten x figure is calling on about 400 people per month. 400 people per month, so that's we are calling that to 30. Yeah. Wait, it was either per month or per week. I don't remember now, but quite a high number. A couple of hundred uh, each week. Yeah, because like 400 phone calls per month, converting to 30, that's like exactly. 7, 8 percent of conversion rate. What is the no normal conversion rate? Um, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how good at you at cold calls. I know somebody who has like. I have, uh, I have people who do the cold mm. the cold calls. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I speak to them when they're kind of interested, a mm. little bit interested. Yeah. Maybe it's four hundred per week. Uh, so how how does it go? You have like cold calls, 
like let's say 400 per week mm -hmm. and how by the way i'm just starting this so mm -hmm. we haven't been doing this for for long we're still actually rolling out this strategy Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no worries so you have like you your guys or people mm -hmm. make uh, like 400 phone calls every week that's the goal yeah and how many do you expect to have interest like to book an appointment for a, for a free session um the conversion from that is it's not that high to be honest probably i don't know 10 to 20 percent about 10 to 20 percent of that to book the phone call so basically 10 20 percent like uh, It's like 50, 60, 60, 80 people. Per like, week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Sometimes it may not be a full-on meeting or consultation. Sometimes it may be an email first. Mm. But again, that might be something that we need to improve. So from 400, you just, we have like 60 people who show some kind of interest. You mm -hmm. either yeah. talk to them. Yeah. Via Skype or don't even know where you are. Mm -hmm. From the 60 people, how many are you going to convert? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still in training. Mm. Um, what would be the goal? Like, to the like goal, 60, 60 per week? Well, then it needs to link to the goal I said before. So, like, five per week. That's what we need to work towards. Absolutely. From the 60, five. Which is not a fairly low conversion, right? It should be achievable. From, from 60 to convert like 6 per week, like 10 person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the goal that we need to work mm. towards. You have to offer something really good to help with the conversation, right? I think. Everything you do is really good. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, like you mentioned, the VIP accounting that you want to get like five a month. So I was, that's what I was just talking mm. about, the VIP accounting with those calls. Like that's what I was just basing it on. No, why did we like for? Why did we calculate it like? At the end of it, we were calculating bi-weekly, like four hundred phone calls per week. Yeah. That converts to sixty people who are interested, and the yeah. sixty people converts into like six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. VIP. Yes. Based on that, based on those calls, mm. which we're, we're not doing that many yet, but mm. yeah. That would mean you like 24, 30 VIP clients per month. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Can you do, can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make the phone calls. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but with, with the CRM, mm. right? You can do that. So you need to have somebody <laughs> like give you some advice, some sales training to. Yeah, no, that's separate. Mm. Like the way I see it, this CRM is a separate system. Mm. The sales training, I have some coaches and things that I do for that, which is a separate development, personal development, and for your business. So thirty VIP clients. Three months. That would mean like. This might take a, a couple of years, mm. but that should be achievable. Yeah. We will do it. What is the value for a customer, like a VIP customer, for a year? So our package is valued at six thousand pounds for the year, based mm. on everything you get. But we take on a limited number of people at two thousand pounds, so they only pay two thousand mm. pounds. Um, that's the value. That's all they're paying for the year. And they can break that up into a mm. monthly payment plan as well, if you need to. Mm. So it's just £2,000 for a £6,000 value? Yeah, and that value, I mean, that's just the value based on the time that we're putting mm. into it. But literally, um, they could be saving even more on tax mm. and expenses and driving more sales into their business. So that is actually a prudent figure, that 6000 
see you communicate to us then that it's like they're paying two thousand and they're getting for sure six thousand. Mm-hmm. So it's communicated to us then. Yes. Mm. Maybe we should say it more. <laughs> what else can you, could you give them? Like well you two like they pay like two thousand pounds and they get like ten thousand pounds for that as a value. Um this smile? Hmm? The smile? The smile. <laughs> That was for a thousand pounds. <laughs> okay, that's undervaluing it. <laughs> um, what do we mean? Like giving them some other values to show There's them. actually a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. Because what we're doing is making a movement. And part of that is there's a lot of people within the network and people that I know who are ready to help out with other mm. things. So they can they offer discounts and stuff like that. So there's that as well which can be quite useful. The referral and getting help from mm. other experts in other areas. Um, yeah, there's some. There's a whole bunch of promotional stuff that we do with digital marketing. And... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there something that you have in mind? Like, basically showing them that they're gonna... For two thousand pounds, they're gonna get like ten thousand pounds, mm-hmm. and just actually showing them that this is what they get. Yeah, going to get. that is true. There's a lot of things yeah. that I don't really um, haven't expressed or um, explained properly, even with the consulting that I do, talking to them, um, reviewing different information mm. for them. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot. What do you think? How much that. would this have on the conversion rate if you would communicate to us them that hey? This is the value you are going to get, like ten thousand pounds a year. Yeah, definitely. And we only charge two thousand pounds. Yeah, um, I think that is true, and there's a lot of truth in that. I was shy. Mm. I was shy to express it and to tell mm. people. Um, so I need someone to do that with emails and stuff. Mm. <laughs> My leg is numb. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something really deep and helpful. Really? Oh. Let's switch. Like, so. Switch. Okay. I have to sit there. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's my good side or not. You could say that. I don't know if this is a good mm. side. Okay, wait. Turn this way. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't like this side. <laughs> well, I don't feel my leg. <laughs> okay, what if I balance like this? Mm. <laughs> but we can't see you properly. <laughs> okay, I'll stand here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're sitting there like half an hour. <laughs> I got them. Okay, sorry. I can't stand up. <laughs> it's so horrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you will have to take me downstairs. Get me downstairs to eat something. <laughs> Is it like better now? Can we continue the interview, please? <laughs> yes. Do you need an ice pack? Or what? <laughs> a massage. <laughs> We're not going to massage on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm, I'm just laughing at this. I'll, I'll be getting to release an uncensored version of this video. Uncensored? Yeah. Uncensored. We don't uncensor. <laughs> it's not for that to oh just push it down. <laughs> okay, okay, go on. Continue, continue. So, we're talking about, like, so, your packages, like, showing them that actually they, you know... (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to talk to the camera and not ask him questions, you know, do this. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, can we... Look, people really want to know about CRM and we're not helping them, okay? Yeah, I think so, like... (laughs) 
Concentrate. When you're done seeing the screen, yeah, I'm sure that you're yeah, so, I'm really curious about you're such a distraction. You're yeah, no. <laughs> such a distraction. You need a distraction. <laughs> they want this valuable insight into CRM and accounting. So let's give them something useful. Something useful. Okay. <laughs> so we were talking about your packages and showing your clients, your potential clients that like they're gonna get like ten thousand pounds as well you and you're gonna charge them only two thousand pounds. Yeah. And you were talking about like communicating this via email. Mm-hmm. And I guess through your proposal as well. Yeah. You know, and on the phone call. On the phone calls, on the free sessions. Yeah, the free consultation. Mm. Book one now, go to taxwork.com for a free consultation. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to jump up to the next question, which is, how well do you know your customers, your ideal customers? Fairly well. There's one here. <laughs> yeah, fairly well. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And who's your ideal customer? My ideal customer is... Uh, Busy business owners who want to save up to three thousand pounds on their tax and penalties, and ideally, I help people who are wanting more time freedom and want to have some fun in life while mm. they build a business. Um, specifically, we help people in online business, um, tech industries like app development, IT uh, consulting, and creative industries as well, like graphic design and media. So. Honestly, I've helped people from all different industries uh, in the past. At the moment, we are focusing on tech. Tech. Like tech. tech. It's a really tech. wide area. <laughs> like, which... Tech. All tech? Anybody tech. tech? IT contractors. IT contractors. So, how well do you know IT contractors? Quite well. I know about PHP. <laughs> you know about PHP? <laughs> <laughs> I know about Google Campus. Mm. No, I'm kidding. I need to learn more about mm. that, but yeah, I love that stuff. So I have an idea. IR thirty five and all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like about the course, like the problems in business. Yeah. Like, well, I need to like, interview you after this mm. to get more into oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need um, to do another interview. Another interview. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, fairly well and developing. Mm. Still learning. Ooh, let's keep to the next or oh, jump on the next question which is like we were actually talking about is like how do you communicate with your customers you already talk about like email newsletters mm-hmm. phone mm-hmm. Um, yeah you mentioned Skype yeah. social media in social person media. yeah we missed mm-hmm. out this social media how important social media is Social media is the best thing ever. Mm. Um, And, yeah. Actually, I just have fun on social media. So I put selfies and we might slip in some stuff about tax. But um, Mm. it's really important for people remembering me and the business. So when they do need a tax return, they will think to call us. Um, We don't put, like, loads of jargon or, like, you know, we don't go on and on about mm. accounting I have fun with it more than anything yeah my day is made up of Facebook breaks mm. <laughs> every hour <laughs> no, <laughs> no, twice a day mm-hmm. Facebook mm. break and I made up a new resolution this month to post a picture or something mm. every day on Instagram and Facebook mm. and Twitter so it's a big part of the business um, even when we are valued at seven figures, mm. it's going to be the same thing. Like social media and just keeping it real mm. is going to be, yeah, very important, vital. Vital. And like, <coughs> what would you say? How how many percentage of the communication of with customers yeah. is on social media? Social media, yes. Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> like apart from uh, apart from posting. Apart from uh, posting, like actually do do talking actually, to them, like communicating, yeah, like communicating with uh, them. It's really yeah. funny. I never really uh, thought about it because it seems so natural. Like it just 
it's so second nature. I didn't really mm. think about it. Maybe fifty percent. So wait, is that right? No. <laughs> so it goes like um, email, phone, social media, mm. in order of importance mm. and frequency. Does that help? Yes. Do I need to give you statistics? <laughs> yes, numbers. <laughs> Not numbers, 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 numbers. No, I'm just kidding. <coughs> um, yeah, the next question is really close to this one. Like, how much, how much do you focus on social media when it comes to approaching your customers, like, or potential customers, new customers, for example? Do you get new customers from social media? Yeah, social media is, um, for us at Taxwork, the most important thing. Mm. Yeah, specifically. Well, I shouldn't say most important, that's not true. Real life and networking and uh, referrals is, is really important. Um, yeah. We, mm. we love LinkedIn. Mm. Yeah, that's vital. Can't imagine, really. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you, you, you don't measure things. Conversion rate. Conversion rate. Um, all I can say is, uh, for us, LinkedIn compared to mm. everything else is the best, most high with conversions. I can't give an exact figure. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> conversions. Okay. What is your best lead source? Hmm? Is that the next question? Um, where do you see that? Number line twenty six. Twenty six. No, that's there's <laughs> another one before that. Number okay. twenty five. Oh. Yeah, there is a number. What did your new customers? Um, come? Yes. Ask it. Hmm? Ask it. Hmm? Ask. Oh, you, you already read it. Okay, so where does your new customers come from? New customers come from referrals, um, so people calling in who have a friend or family member who needs help, or a client who needs help, and via LinkedIn. So referrals and LinkedIn, those are the main channels of getting new customers? Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, basically you answer the next question that what is your best lead source like website social media referrals basically you answer yeah, the, the two that i mentioned before are the best mm, yes um why is it the best why is it the best i think um i think it's the best because of the information that we give firstly on linkedin uh for example like my profile it's got a lot of detail and i think it shows the value um fairly well of what they can expect when they call or when they speak to me and uh, also referrals is the best because they it's more trust so the person that they spoke to trusts me and they trust the person that they spoke to thank you that was all of my questions <laughs> for today <laughs> <laughs> was it useful it was useful yes it was useful okay when do we do part two? Part two. Like, what part two? That's just a part three. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you like to do in part two? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll interview you in part two. Okay. Yeah. Is that finished now? Yes. Okay, I'm just turn this off.